right guys welcome back to 243 outdoors today we're going to be taking our first look at this new scope it's a citron s1h tac uh, it's a 3 by 9 by 40 scope that i've put on this marlin model 8022 uh, it's got the hhr reticle in it basically it's just your normal crosshairs it has two holdover points on it i'll give you a view of it here through the scope uh, been playing around with it a little bit today and i've been pretty impressed with it uh, it's been very windy today. It's not the best conditions for uh, the first day out to see what it'll really do because uh, at 100 yards the wind's really kind of moving this 22 bullet around. Uh, I got the camera set up on our plate rack at 100 yards today. We're just going to send a few ra rounds down range and just see what we think of it. I'll start out shooting some uh, Federal 36 grain bulk pack here. Start out with our big target. See where we end up. Got about a minute and a half dialed for wind. That's kind of how windy it is today. Ammo's kind of all over the place. Um, try a little bit of uh, CCI standard velocity. I actually saw some groups earlier today with this at 50 yards, and it was shooting dime sized groups with the standard velocity. So uh, I picked up about 10 more boxes a while ago, so uh, I'll probably be shooting quite a bit of it. This gun is tending to prefer the lower velocity rounds. Go down the four inch target and see where we hit. For a 100 yard group with a 22 in the wind today, you just, I don't think you can get any better to that with a, with a, this ain't a precision gun, this is just your regular 22 rifle. Go down to the middle target here. I'm gonna come up a couple clicks, see if we'll get the impact a little more centered. Shooting a group on a swinging target is kind of tough. It's neat. Mm -hmm. Through the scope, I can see that the whole flight of the bullet. I can see it all. It's unreal. That's not a bad group.
Oh, let's go down to the, the next one. That's a uh, four inch target. Down to the three inch target. Should we hit it on the swing or wait for it to stop? wait for it to slow down a little bit. I think we clipped the top of it, but we still got it. It's just amazing how good this old rifle shoots. Um, it's older than I am, I do know that, and uh, putting a modern optic on it, it just, it's just amazing what it does. I knew it was a good shooter. I really never had any doubts in the gun. The, uh, the old scope I did have some doubts in, but this, this Cytron, uh, it's really, uh, it complements the gun nicely, I think send uh, one more mag through it and I'll let you guys go. Oh, that's the first shot I missed today. See you guys later.